And then if I ever want to look up, I'll see more ads, right? So a couple of hours ago, I was on call with a friend and that friend, you know, he, he's a money earner, if you will. And he gave me this really interesting idea. How could you maximize profit in a Roblox game? And this is a really interesting concept because in my opinion, right? And I want to hear your thoughts on this, but in my opinion, Roblox games are actually very, very good when it comes to monetization. Like obviously, you know, a lot of Roblox games have, you know, game passes and products and whatever. But to be completely honest, I've yet to have a run in with a popular Roblox game where monetization is like predatory or it's like really bad or everything's hyper expensive it's honestly really good but just as my friend said i feel like a roblox game with like the sole intent to make money would be pretty cool right now i did something similar in an earlier video where it was effectively a video where i just made everything cost a robux like you weren't allowed to move or jump or even move the camera without paying first right and you know as funny as that is th that's a joke video right no one's actually go going to play a game with those limitations right if i join a game and it's like hey pay me 20 robux so that you can move for the next 30 seconds like i'm quitting i'm not doing that but what i'm curious about here is could we make a game that maximizes profit which also then means that it has to maximize players right because a game that's made for profit it needs players you you can't just be like a cartoon villain type developer and just be like haha i'm gonna add a bunch of microtransactions well that just doesn't work because nobody's gonna play the game you have to be like one of those like good villains you know a lot of villains right now in media are just really bad and they're like oh yeah i'm gonna do a bad thing but every good villain they, they still do a bad thing but like it's well thought out and they actually achieve their evil plans or whatever so that's what i'm gonna try and do basically I'll be the evil villain, right? The well-written, intelligent villain. And I'm gonna just try and see how much money I could make from a Roblox game. Now, I will note that, of course, this isn't a game. In fact, this is just a base plate. In fact, we have nothing besides the, the base plate literally nothing i don't have any any parts of the workspace i don't have any scripts that are inside of the player i literally have nothing this is just a blank slate however i will start off the video by showing you this little item and add gui so we have to understand something right how do popular roblox games make money i mean a lot of them have you know game passes like for example um i know all of you play tycoons i love tycoons right and what a lot of tycoons have is you know they have these like buttons where like you know uh, you go and then you touch the button and, and you know just for example i could say like uh script.parent.touch and then we can say okay um if the other part that touched this you know i'll just call it button it doesn't look like a button it's just a brick but whatever and then we can say okay if this other part belonged to a player so we can say if the parent of this part has a humanoid which means that the parent of this part is a character yeah i'll just say if then we can say script.parent which is again the button destroy end and what this is going to do is then whenever a character now touches this button, there we go, see, it disappears. And realistically, this would do something else as well. Like, for example, this is a very crappy example, but maybe it would destroy the base plate as well, right? Like, inside of this if statement, we can, you know, destroy the button and then also destroy the base plate. And again, like I said, that would be a very crappy tycoon if that was the case, but like, you know, you do. Now, what a smarter game would do is they would make a button that only costs Robux, right? Now, I had a previous video where I said that I really hate tycoons who do this. And a lot of people were like, oh, but it's fine. I know tycoons who do it properly. And I, I do want to clarify, right? I'm not saying that constant monetization is good. I'm not saying that having a tycoon with like 50 buttons that has like the Robux icon and it's like a rainbow gradient or whatever, like those are very annoying and obnoxious and they just make the game really stupid. However, I've played a lot of games which have these buttons like there in a very nice and respectful way. I've seen, I played a game where there was a literal setting where you could just disable the buttons that costed money, right? And I'm sure that with the amount of dumb little kids playing Roblox, I'm sure that that setting actually loses a lot of games money because a kid will just see a button that just says wow robux oh wow you get a speed coil and then they like pay the game like 20 bucks or something for a speed coil but you know me personally i've never spent money on those games um unless it's like for a joke or something and i've only spent money on games that actually take themselves and me as the player seriously which of course is ironic because that's literally the opposite of what i'm going to be doing here but you get the point this is how a lot of good roblox games monetize they have some sort of product which you know 
know, once you touch the button, it's like, hey, would you like to buy X for, I don't know, 200 Robux? But that should be pretty obvious, right? Then there's a second way that games make money. And while this way is not nearly as prevalent as, you know, like product, at least I think so, but it is the Robux that you get whenever people with premium play your game. So you know how Roblox has like a Roblox premium, you pay like, I don't know, seven, 10 bucks a month for it. And I'm sure you played a game which was like, hey, uh, this item requires Roblox premium, right? Or like this spin requires Roblox, or like, oh, people with Roblox premium get 20% extra cash. These games do this because Roblox gives them an incentive. Roblox says, hey, if somebody purchases premium from your game, and if someone with premium keeps playing your game, you'll earn money from that, right? Especially if someone buys premium, because that's an entire cut of the sale. So what a lot of games do is they have this thing where they use marketplace service. Again, you don't have to know entirely what that means, but there's a thing that's called prompt premium purchase, which needs a player. So I can just say, okay, game players, wait for child, the original lamp, which is my username. And so then if I just play the game, it should prompt me to buy premium or maybe not immediately. I guess we could, I guess we could wait two seconds. Okay. We could wait two seconds and then it should prompt me. You are already a premium member. Oh, right. I forgot. I'm already rich and wealthy, so I have premium. But if I didn't have premium, it would obviously show me that I could buy premium. So I assume at this point, you're already, you know, seeing how games make money. And I hope if you're someone who is actually interested in this type of stuff, that you you almost have like a little shine in your eyes and you're like already getting ideas as to like how a game could be maximized for profit. Like if you were to make a game, you're probably thinking right now, like, oh, I could add a bunch of things that, you know, uh, tell the player to buy premium or like, oh, I could add a bunch of buttons where like it prompts a player to purchase my product or something and that is great you know we're already getting to the right path but there's one last thing one final way that can make you money and uh, to be fair I'm, I'm actually not too sure if, if like these are the only ways Th there might be some other like niche way to make money I mean actually I guess you could sell private servers and you could like make the game cost money but like these are very obvious things right so this final thing that I'm talking about actually solves the big problem that the previous two had in the sense that the previous two are a suggestion, right? The previous two are like, oh, would you like to buy this? Oh, you know, premium members get more, but you know, would you li like, there's no real push, right? The player can just say no. Like, okay, yeah, fine. I don't want the extra 20% cash. And it's just, you lose out on a lot of money. So let me introduce to you the amazing <laughs> ad UI. So again, I showed you this before, right? Or at least I think so. What this thing is, let me just add it to a button. It is an item which can be put on a part. Right now it says invalid because like the, the part needs to be bigger, which I obviously understand, you know, we, we got to have good ads. And if I just aspect ratio it normally, there we go. Look at that. It just says image ads like so, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. You hopefully already can tell what this is, but basically this is an ad, right? I'm not too sure if you've ever played a game that had like a random like image just plastered on the walls. Like you're like, oh, like it's a random link to a game or something. Not a lot of games have these, I'll be honest, at, at least from my experience, right? Or maybe the games that I play are just really professional and don't have ads. But the ad is amazing because it pays you money just from people looking at them. Like I'm not too sure how it works, but Roblox has a specific algorithm that determines like, okay, how long is the player looking at the ad? Is the player staring directly at the ad or, you know, away from the ad? Or like, oh, how big is the ad? Like, how much of the screen is it taking up? And like, did the player click the ad? Like, you know, were they looking at the ad for an extended period of time? All of these things just boil down to the fact that you'll be making Robux from people just looking at this. And I know right now it says image ads, but like in a real game, Roblox would replace this with like an actual normal ad that someone paid for. So, you know, with all of that being said, making a game that's maximized for profit actually doesn't seem that hard, right? First of all, we'd probably need, you know, some product that we could sell. Then we might want to encourage people to buy premium. And then we could just plaster ads everywhere. All right, so I just... <laughs> so I just made this uh little map so again imagine we're just playing the game regularly right failed to load plugin whatever who cares so i'm playing the game right now and look at that again we're in studio right now so you know roblox isn't gonna put ads on here but if this was a real game all of this would be an advertisement i mean i mean like <laughs> but but of course this isn't necessarily 
maximizing profit, right? What if there was a way that we could take this even further, right? What if there was a way to make all of this profit even bigger, right? I mean, you know, obviously, you know, we can't really do that. Now, when I say we can't make it as big as we want, I mean that literally because if I try and extend the part, well then, as you can see, the ad just unfortunately doesn't appear. Now, what you might see is a flaw, right? You might just, just be thinking like, oh, okay, you know, I guess that's fine. I see a potential to make more money, right? Look at this. We can just take all of these parts and, you know, Roblox is like, oh, but you can't do this. You can't make an ad big or whatever because, you know, they care about their players or something stupid. And I, I, I'm saying no, right? I think that, you know, caring about players is dumb and stupid, um, and I don't think Roblox should do it. As a matter of fact, look at this, right? I could I could do something like this. This is way funnier, in my opinion, than making normal monetizations. So yeah, look at this, then we just, we just duplicate them, you know, move them on top like this, move them on top like this, move them on top like this, and then we just take all of these things, right? Look at them. Duplicate them again, move them over here like this, and again, I could keep going and going and going, right? Obviously, you know, money is amazing and we all love it and blah, blah, blah. But I'm, I'm a kind, humble man, so I'll just, I'll, I'll restrict it to here, okay? So, okay, look, we could have this one panel over here. Again, look, it could be bigger, but, you know, like I said, I'm a humble man, so we'll, we'll just have to deal with this. All right, you know, just adding some finishing touches here. You know, the, the sun is a bit too bright, so I think we can block it with the ads. Yeah, so right now if I, you know, go and play the game, um, again, it's not going to be showing much ads, unfortunately. You know, like, yeah, one, two, three, four, like, whatever. It's like, it's too little, right? But then like, you look up and you're like, wow, you know, like, wow, like, uh, wow, this game, I've never tried it. Or like, oh, wow, this product, I gotta go buy it. Or like, wow, uh, this game has, uh, I don't know, monsters or whatever. Now, of course, there's always more ways that you can maximize profit. Like, if I was actually making this into a real game, I'd make an entire box, like, surrounding the base plate, and I would just put as many of these ads on there as I could. As a matter of fact, I'd probably just replace the spawn location and the base plate with all of these ads, right? I think that'd be better, because then, like, you know, the player, no matter where he looks, there's just an ad everywhere which I think, again, is good for maximizing profit. Now, to create my own product, I have to save the game. And I'll be honest, I have so much games at this point that I just, I just don't want it to be clogged up with, like, another one. But what we could do is we could prompt a premium subscription, which I would argue is basically the same thing. So what I think we could do is we could just say, while Trudu will make a loop, and we can say every 15 seconds, which is already very generous, but we can say every 15 seconds, we're gonna loop through every single player. So game, players, gets players, like so. And I'll just rename this to PLR because this is gonna be the player, right? And then we can just say game, marketplace service, prompt, premium purchase, and then we just give it the player, like so. And then we can also say game, marketplace service, prompt, premium purchase finished. We can connect that to a function. And then on the top, we can say game, players, uh, player added, connect function. So, you know, whenever a new player joins the game, we can check the player's membership type, right? So we, we can just say if the player's membership type which uh, over here, it says that it is an enum.membership type. So we just have to check if the membership type is equal to the enum membership type. And then it's interesting because it still has the old ones. Builders Club, Turbo Build. Oh man, that's actually, that's actually very nostalgic. But yeah, you can right now it's either none or premium. So we can say if it's premium, then I guess we could say um, we can get the player's character. So I'll say player character or player character added weight. And then we'll just say local highlight is going to be equal to instance.new highlight. And in case you don't know what a highlight effectively is, is it's like an outline of the player. So basically, if the player does have premium, I'm going to give them a nice uh, green outline, right? To show everyone like, hey guys, listen, th this guy has premium, right? Else, if they don't have premium, I'm going to say instance, uh, wait, sorry, instance.new explosion, uh, which I will parent to the workspace. And then I'll say dot position is going to be equal to the character humanoid root parts dot position. So if the player does not have premium, they will basically explode. This will only happen once, but you know, the players who do have premium will get a nice little highlight. So if this works like I believe it should. Oh, wait, right, my bad, hold on. I gotta parent it to the actual character, uh, like so. There we go, hopefully that works now. Yeah, great, look at that. So because I have premium, I get a nice little highlight instead of just blowing up. And within 15 seconds, I should get my first uh, prompt to purchase premium. So 
very yes there we go of course it's an error because again i'm amazing and everything but you know if i wasn't amazing i could now become amazing and just to test this i'll just switch these roles so now people with premium yeah there we go see now people with premium are gonna explode and i guess i'm having an out of body experience right now because i'm able to walk and look around which is kind of weird but you know no, no, nothing out of the ordinary and i still get a premium prompt that's amazing i guess then for the explosion we could wait a second before exploding the character because yeah i mean yeah, there we go. All right, wonderful. And I do I do think 15 seconds is a bit too much. I think maybe we could do like six seconds or something. I think that's good enough. Because yeah, look, there we go. Nice little green outline. And then it should ask me whether I want to buy premium, which is of course amazing. All of you should buy it. Error, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah, okay. And yeah, there we go. Look at that. Amazing. So now I'll have no choice but to buy premium, of course. Oh no, and, and actually, you know what we could do? Instead of prompting the player, we could ask... If the membership type is premium, or sorry, no, if, if the membership type is none, then we prompt. So if the player already has premium, then we don't prompt. My genius knows no bounds. No no other game has is, is doing this, guys. I'm, I'm the first developer ever to be this intelligent. It's actually crazy. So, okay, I mean, I think we've done pretty well for a game that maximizes profit, right? Again, you know... We have our nice outline showing that we are indeed members of Roblox Premium, an, an amazing subscription. You know, we, we have little blocks here which have like ads on them, and obviously right now they're not showing ads, but they will in the real game. And then if I ever want to look up, I'll see more ads, right? Of course, we could always have more ads. Like, I, like I'm like i already envisioning like an ad over there, one, one, one of them over there, another one over there. I'm envisioning like a bunch of buttons, maybe like one here or one here, one here, where like... When we step on them, it, it like offers us a speed coil for like 1000 Robux or something. So yeah, I mean, there's honestly a, an infinite amount of ways to monetize your game. Um, and if you are a beginner developer, I hope you've been taking notes because otherwise you'll just be poor forever if you don't follow this advice. I mean, I, I think that's a wrap. Again, I am not too sure what other methods of making money there are. Of course, like I said, you could make the game cost Robux or you can make like private servers, but th that's a given. That's, that's pretty easy, right? I, I feel like a lot of people don't really even know about the existence of ads neither do they know that premium actually pays you whenever you know someone either buys from you or just a player with premium plays your game in general so you know this is kind of a jokey video but i i do hope that you know my friend's suggestion while we were on call did actually you know teach someone about you know I, again either it be the ads or premium or maybe even like the piece of code that i wrote like maybe you found this helpful i'll say something as well that if you actually did find this helpful because to be fair this is fairly beginner level Level code i would say if, if you found this helpful and if you like my teaching style and you also agree that games should be made with not necessarily like i don't want to say money in mind but if you do want to make a roblox game and get paid for it and you want to kind of learn how to do that i will say that i do have a course which is now 50 percent off forever basically so right now it's 30 dollars, which is pretty cheap it has like seven six or seven hours worth of content um like unedited as well so you can click the link in the description and the pinned comment go check it out uh, there's like a free preview so you, you don't need like to sign up or anything Thing like that you could just check it out for free and then buy it if you feel like it's good value obviously while you're at it i have my instagram linked as well where i have like pictures of like pigeons um like little like they're pretty cool they're pretty cute you should go like them let's see okay what else is there because i'm trying to sell out as hard as i can right now i guess yeah course instagram what else oh yeah subscribe subscribing as well uh that's pretty cool i know i know this is like the last of your concerns right now but i'm close to 100k and the the play button would be pretty cool like i just I, just imagine this bro i started this channel like a year ago right and like I don't know, a year's worth of work, and now it's like I can get like a YouTube physical button. Just, I think it'd be really cool, right? So, you know, if you, if you actually do like what I output, and you think that, you know, more people should see my, you know, wonderful and amazing ideas, you know, do subscribe, do share the video with a friend, because of course that's like the only way for me to really even grow uh, my, my reach on YouTube. But yeah, you know, with that being said, um, damn, I, I feel, I, I'd feel bad to delete any of these. I'll be completely honest. Like, just imagine the amount of money that could be generated here. I'm, I'm gonna click the delete button, but I'll do it with a great sense of sadness. Okay, there we go. I'm really sad that I had to do that because that was so much money that I effectively just wasted. Yeah, no, I guess I really did monetize this game as much as, as much as possible i literally broke the, 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 the lighting <laughs> oh that is amazing well yeah subscribe check check the other stuff uh join the discord if you want to you know uh, people often criticize the discord for being like uh like racist or whatever <laughs> if that's your thing you go you can go join right now <laughs> but you know it's obviously a somewhat regular development server so you can join if you want to connect with people i guess 
And as always, we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.